Hello guys, um, wanted to give you guys a small update on the VZ235. Um, as you can see, I'm running a, yeah, no, a standard ring test, but it's not really your standard ring test. Uh, first row is 5k XL, second 10, third 3k, and uh, after that it's only 20k. Um, just wanted to see what it will do uh, with all wheel drive without input shaper. Um, and as you can see, um, there is no ringing on 5. Uh, maybe if you really wanted to see it, it's on 10, but very faint. On 15, there is some ringing, not too bad. And then at 20, there will be ringing. But yeah, this is obviously the worst axis. Um, here you can see Y axis ringing on this part, so the heaviest of, the, of them all. Um, I think with some input shaping, this will be good, very good. <laughs> the sprung length of the belt will definitely help, but there's one thing um, yeah, that needs to be finished. Obviously, I need the left panel and were some problems with mine, but those will be resolved uh, soon. Um, the biggest issue right now, uh, wait, let, let me turn this off real quick. Yeah, I'm not used to this interface. Now I've got um, fluid installed. I don't really like it. <laughs> Tried it. Nah, not my thing. Maybe I will go RRF. Not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the thing is, uh, when I home, like the printer prints fine, you, obviously. But uh, the moment I home, uh, for example, I, I home, uh, I, I, I set home and it triggers X. Um, the X, uh, X motor, the Y motor, and the X1 motor, those will stop, but the Y1 motor uh, continues on just a bit, maybe like one millimeter or something like that. Um, the moment it hits um, the Y end stop, uh, Y, X, Y1 will stop, but X1 will move a little bit further. Uh, pretty strange. Um, we've been looking at it for a few days with uh, some of the awesome people in the Havard community as they have some more experience with all-wheel drive Core XY. Um, yeah, it's pretty experimental. The, 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 the dumbest th is, the thing is like Clipper doesn't support it while RF, Marlin, all the other firmware support 4-motor Core XY setup. So, uh, we need to figure that out. I, at, this, at this point, I probably recommend people wanting to build this. Just use RRF, get used to it. it it's a bit different, but still it has input shaper, all the good stuff. Um, so you'll be fine. Only thing to consider is setting the micro steps down. I was running like 32 micro steps on four motors at the same time. Clipper did not like that. And I think RRF might have even more problems with running the high step rates. Um, now you could experiment with interpolation, but it's all pretty experimental. I have to figure everything out uh, for this setup as well. It's uh, it's 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 a bit of work, but it's a lot of fun for sure. And it's yeah, so far for me the results have been pretty good. So um, yeah, just the homing issue. It's uh, what I've done now is I've wrote the G code um, because when one motor continues moving on, um, the issue is that it makes uh, either the gantry shift or it skips steps and I'd rather have it skip steps and keep the belt in sync and stuff like that um, than have it um, yeah, not skip steps and pull the gantry apart or sync stuff. I've already broken a piece of uh, this, it slammed in. This thing has so much power, it's pretty insane with the four LEO motors. And um, yeah, so that's something that needs to be fixed but we, well, I can't figure it out and I'm not sure if it's at this point if it's just my build or uh, for every build. Uh, people in the Hefford community have been running this type of setup pretty successfully for a few uh, for some time. Um, they were at least the one person I spoke to, uh, Mental. Uh, he was running an older version of Clipper. I tried that. I think it's the same version. Not completely sure. Uh, that was a bit uh, 
uh, hard to understand. Uh, he couldn't uh, figure out which one he had as well exactly, but yeah, I might revert back to even Clipper 0.8. Not sure. Maybe I can try it. Um, but I think it's something in the Python files. So yeah, but for homing, what I do now is I set uh, I've made um, a star G code uh, star print macro, um, which will set um, all the TMC stepper driver currents uh, to 0.4 four or maybe out of five can't remember but very low and um, then it just skips steps on the one motor that's misbehaving um, yeah it's not a big deal it's not a problem well it seems not to be a problem while printing then afterwards um, but it uh, lowers step driver homes x and y home c um, set c uh, the bed lo lowers the bed a bit then sets st stepper drivers um, the the current back um, also remember to uh, would also hold current on the same as stepper run current because clipper will just when it lowers from like 1.6 amps to 0.4 uh, it also sets the hold current to 0.4 uh, because it's lower than the um, uh, new run current so I had some problems with that that caused a lot of ringing uh, that was pretty uh, weird but yeah and then after homing it sets everything back and starts printing just fine but uh, yeah that's uh uh, problem <laughs> so I might also just go back go, go to RRF not sure and apparently the input shaping on RRF is a bit weird I've heard it from people not sure if I could get used to it or if it's worth it maybe I can I need to live with, with how this well, how it is now and it's perfectly doable but I think it's nicer if I didn't have to lower the, the stepper driver current uh, before homing but yeah, I hope it's just my machine and not all machines. We'll know in a few days when Mental has his uh, have up and running uh, so he can test if his machine does it too. It could also be just because I'm using normal end stops like other guys use uh, senseless homing. Gotta try it out and maybe we'll make like a step stick driver with the, uh, a board PCB uh, which uses the step deer pins uh, from X and puts it in X1 and you still need to have X1 and the Y1 configured uh, for the enable an SPI unless you run non-TMC drivers or standalone mode maybe that would be even easier <laughs> to just run something some some step in standalone and use the step there and maybe even enable pin yeah I, th I think enable pin in that setup would work too like yeah that would be possible I think um, then you wouldn't even have to uh, set other pin configurations but mm, we might make a board for it I don't know it's, it's a bit uh, looking at it because like uh, with all wheel drive you have uh, all the step, uh, steps input so uh, it needs to calculate um, all the micro stepping so it's best to uh, use low micro stepping but even better if you could use like the, the same step there signals from X and Y uh, on X and X1 and Y1 so it doesn't have to calculate those separately that would be even better for speed but yeah we're, we're figuring it out it's very experimental so i recommend people who not who are not used to uh, or don't like experimental stuff just build the two-wheel drive or the vc330 obviously it's mine sitting over there um but yeah uh that's about it i think um all wheel drive is pretty cool you can easily convert though um only thing that's different from the uh, 235 two-wheel drive uh, the motors are always in front um, but the all-wheel drive has the secondary motors in the back um, those are configured in microfig as a X and Y and these are X1 and Y1 um, Yeah, it doesn't matter you can swap them around no problem uh, So that's about it. Yeah um, If I have an update, I'll, I'll show you and I hope um, I think we'll re release it uh, soon I'm Not sure on the exact time yet uh, We're a bit depending on some other stuff too right now um, but yeah, testing so far seems good, so two-wheel drive will always be good, so if you build a four-wheel drive and you don't like it, you can easily convert it to two-wheel drive, no harm there. So, uh, peace out!